Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a flare crossbow. For materials, you'll need some steel wool, three pieces of thin wood, one at about a foot, the other at about a foot and a half, and the last one at about three inches. I'm using some trim, but any thin piece of wood, such as a few paint stirrers, glued together will also work. Also, some rubber bands, some wooden skewers, a 9 volt battery, a 9 volt battery clip with a switch, two clothespins, and some tin foil. For tools, you'll need a Dremel, a hot glue gun, and a multi tool. Let's get started. The first step is to cut a shallow groove down the longer piece of wood. Then cut a few small notches on the very end of the long piece of wood. These grooves should be big enough for the wire to fit into. Then take the smaller piece of wood and cut two grooves in the middle like this. Now glue the two pieces of wood together and wrap some wire around them for added strength. Now grab two rubber bands and tie them together like this. Then take the piece of wood and cut two notches on either end, big enough for the rubber band to fit into. Now stretch the rubber band and run it through the grooves. It also might be a good idea to sand the edges so the rubber bands don't snap. Then stretch the rubber band down about 85% of its full stretch and make a mark. Now take two clothespins and glue them down where you made the mark. Then remove the tops of the clothespins and cut four small grooves on each of the insides of the clothespins. It should look like this when you're done, with a hole in the middle of the four clothespins. Then take the last small piece of wood and glue it under the top of the two clothespins. Now if we try to load it, the clothespins are not strong enough to hold the rubber bands in place. To fix this, grab another rubber band and wrap it around the ends of the clothespins a few times. This adds strength and the crossbow will stay loaded. Now take your battery clip and glue it to the bottom of the crossbow. Then take two pieces of tin foil and attach the positive wire coming from the battery clip to one piece of tin foil and the negative to another. Then wrap the tin foil around the crossbow and secure it down with some hot glue. And it's very important that the two pieces of tin foil are not touching. To make the arrow, Take two skewers and attach them together. Take some steel wool and pull it apart to give it more surface area. And then stick it between the two skewers. To load it, just pull back on the rubber band and put the arrow into the notch. Make sure the rubber band goes between the two skewers at the end. Then flip the switch and the steel wool should light up. Wait a few seconds for it to catch. Blowing on it can also help. Then press down on the clothespins and the arrow will go flying. Steel wool will glow and act as a sparkling flare. If you like this video, please subscribe, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Instagram to be notified when I upload new projects. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.